Man, remember when this show had no filler arcs? I remember when this show had no filler arcs. Remember when this show had fight scenes which were based on the characters' egos that were actually good? I remember when this show had fight scenes which were based on the characters' egos that were actually good. Remember when this show communicated its characters' motivations with a little more subtlety than just having them explain what their motivations are? I remember when this show communicated its characters' motivations with a little more subtlety than just having them explain what their motivations are. What are we, nine episodes into season five? As if anyone has to make this observation, but nothing is fucking happening. We got some inclinations of development for Deku's quirk in between Endeavor and the Todoroki family. That's pretty neat. But then we immediately jump into non-stop class 1A versus class 1B sparring games. I don't think it takes a genius to recognize that this setup doesn't really lend itself well to generating dramatic stakes. Obviously no one was going to get injured because this is a practice drill. None of the characters we care about we're going to combat each other because the groups are split up by class, and because these are 4v4 battles there are way too many characters to develop each episode, so most of the time only one or two students will even get the dramatic focus, and everyone else is just kinda there. The only thing anyone really has on the line is their ego, but only a handful of characters that we are actually invested in seem like they would even care about losing a sparring match. The tournament arc of season 2 is basically just a series of battles, but it did everything right that this arc is doing wrong. The tournament was something everyone had time to prepare for, the battles were much more intimate and we were learning about what drives these characters for the first time. Three seasons later and we know a lot about nearly every character's backstory and motivations, it doesn't need reiteration, it needs progression. I mean still, it continues to and always will be fun to just see all the unique and creative ways each character finds to use their quirk, and the consistency that this story has had in presenting interesting superpowers and evolving them throughout the course of the series, extending into Season 5 has been what prevents me from calling it bad yet. However, until our protagonists are presented with a challenge that is meaningfully dependent on their fighting ability, all the new applications of their quirks are really just for the spectacle of it. I've been steadily losing faith in Hiroaka to be the next truly mainstream anime that is also really, really good. A title I was happy to give it by Season 3's end, but unfortunately it looks like Funimation or Toho or maybe Kenji Nagasaki himself realized that this shit prints money. Telling a compelling story has become second priority to making this show as mass market appealing as possible. That's why Deku's arc basically just repeated itself in season 4. That's why season 5 gives every character an on-screen bio card regardless of whether or not we already know who they are. That's why the characters have just self-narrated about why they want to become a hero for the past 7 episodes. It feels pointless for people like me because it's not being made for people like me. It's being made for people who are just tuning into this season now because they heard about this super popular show and they didn't want to have to watch nearly a hundred episodes by now in order to get caught up. It's being made for viewers who fell off past seasons halfway through for whatever reason and are being re-motivated to pick the series back up now that a new season is airing. It's being made for people who are just playing these episodes at any random order in the background while they cook dinner. There's a lot more people like that than people like me. I have no problem with shows like this, but it makes me sad when a show I liked because it was well-paced, compellingly written, and contained characters and themes that resonated with me turn into a show that doesn't appear to value those things anymore. I have no doubt that Hiroaka still has some good and great moments ahead of it, but right now I have a hard time believing that they won't be at least a little bit deluded. I will continue watching to see if that's the case, but my expectations have been adjusted. Thanks for watching, more anime content on the way, sub, bell, patreon, have a wonderful day.